Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am back for another app review and this is going to be a really cool app review, I gotta say. It's going to be on Balloons Light and Piano Light. Now, Piano Light not, might, it might not sound like the best, awesomest app in the world, but let me tell you, it is pretty sweet. So let's just get into it right away. So this is called Finger Piano and it's probably the best piano application out there for one reason. Okay, so it's a piano, great. It's pretty much just a piano. I mean, you can play piano all you want here, but there's something very special about this piano. It's okay, cool, it's a piano, right? Yeah, awesome, great, that's pretty much what it is. But, 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 if you look up here, these are notes. Okay, this is pretty much like a piano teacher. Up here in your up, um, upper, upper right hand corner, we have this list version button thing, if I can press it. Can't press it with the camera. There we go. And it gives you a set list of songs you can actually learn to play on the piano right here on your iPod Touch. It, this is amazing, and I believe you can in the um, in the full version update um, like, like upload your own songs. And it's just so cool. I know there's like nothing here you actually know, but these are all classical songs. For Elise Wright should sound familiar to most people. And as, as you can see here, these blue um, these blue thicker ones indicate the white keys and the green thinner ones indicate the black keys. And again, it moves as you play the piano, as you play the key. So you see this blue one, so that's next, you want to play that. The green one, that's up next, you want to play that. Blue. And as you can see, it really teaches you how to play the song. And it's really awesome. Yeah, the only problem is they don't give you that many to um, view. And not many of these are like, I think, I believe you can update your own, video, um, um, upload your own songs in the paid version. But I wouldn't know since I don't have the paid version. But besides that, this is just the simplest app ever. It's a piano. Hamster on a piano. Um, anyways, it's a piano on your iPod Touch. But with a little addition, with a little surprise, you can learn songs. You can play songs, as you can see. And if you can see these thicker blue ones mean to hold the note longer. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> and as you can see, it's really easy to play, really responsive. The notes are correct. This music sounds perfect. You can also skip ahead like this. These are all the different, you know. And you can also just play. Have it play for you. We will shall go to Nocturne, right? And again, you can also stop it, like that. You can also go back. And also with your finger, you can just scroll through the notes like this. You can move the piano around like this. As you can see, you can go all the way down here. Then go all the way back up here. And as you can see, you can also just scroll through the notes like this. And that's also very nifty if you want to go to a certain part of the song. I think that I think we could have made it better if they actually named like you know for beginners if they named the keys but you know whatever. Um, so besides that, this is a really really fun app. You get to learn a couple new songs. You get to play around on the piano. If you're not a music person, if you're not a piano person, this isn't for you. But it's really cool for the people who are piano people because you can now play the piano on your iPod Touch really easily. And this is a free version. They do give you an entire piano. They do give you a lot of songs you can play. And so it's really fun just to mess around with. Also play maybe a song for your girlfriend. I don't know. Go ahead, try it might do something. <laughs> On to our next app. It is called Balloons Light. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard about this game. It is like the funnest, <laughs> the most fun game on the internet right now. It's called Balloons. We'll raise the volume. <laughs> Yeah, pretty funky music. Anyways, I I hope all of you know what balloons are. If you're not, if you don't, go check it out on the internet. The internet version is a lot of fun. Now, this is the iPod Touch version, so it's going to be a little smaller, a little compact. I thought they would skimp on a lot of the things and make it so much cheaper and crappier, but they didn't. So this is the main menu, balloons, play options help about... No, just going to play. In the free version, you do get three save slots, which is really, really cool, and they do tell you what level you're on at that current slot. So let's just go into game two, and we'll save a new game. You only get up to 11 levels here. 
in the free version, but in the, um, in the pay one you get up to, I'm pretty sure, like 50 or something, and it's really awesome. You have an unlimited darts mode, you can click on and off, and I'm going to do it just for the purpose of this review. Now this is the level, this is the first level, pop me, we can say play, and we shall play the level. Now, this is your game screen. You got the nice moving clouds in the background, you got this monkey sitting on this piece of wood, and you got some balloons. Now, who knows why the hell a monkey would want to be shooting arrows at balloons. Whatever. Okay, the game is... You're this monkey, and you're trying to pop all these balloons. You're trying to pop a certain target, which is 92 here, or 32. That's 32. I can't see it through the camera. Sorry, guys. That's the 32, and right here is your current popped. Whoops. And right here is how many darts you have left, but in unlimited dart mode. You don't need to worry about that because you have unlimited darts. Here's the name of the level you're on currently, and best score. You, do it, you get it in a percent, and here's reset and menu. Now... To control your monkey aim and power, you can just grab and drag around. Your goal is just to pop your balloons. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Cool. Whoops. As you can see, I just completed the level because I got 34 balloons popped out of 32. We can go into the next level. The only problem with this game is, though, if you see it on the iPod Touch, it is really small. They did just kind of shrink. They did a really great job, though. This is a really, really fun game. They did a really great job of converting the PC version, the online version, to the iPod Touch. This one is really... There's nothing you aren't missing. You are missing in this game compared to the Internet version. This game is the full thing. It is awesome. It is fun to play. Go get it right now. It's the light version. It's really fun. Just, you know, a five-minute fun game. Um, they, well, I only li I don't like the thing though that where it's um it's just too small. It's not too small. It's just really tiny. The balloons are really small. The b monkey is kind of small. Um, to me, there's also not enough room, you know, to make the arrow go as far as you can. Um, and as you can see, um, you can always click replay level. So this is like the Jewish star starburst. And there's all these different like power up balloons. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that. There's this pink one, there are these one, two, three, four, five, six pink ones, seven pink ones that are um, like dart balloons that when you hit them they explode into a million darts and they um, get rid of, they pop all the balloons around them. Now those are really helpful, especially if you can see, there you go. And of course level complete with just one arrow, which is great, one um, dart. There's also these other balloons, like here, they're power-up balloons, if you can see that blue one, crap, I should have macroed this some more, right there, I'm sorry if you can't see that, right there. It's a three burst arrow, so when you hit that, you get another chance, if I can get it, you get three arrows. Now, see, there's your power up. You get three arrows. It says, if I shoot now, three arrows will come out of me instead of just one. There you go. Three. Perfect. I'm just, like, trying to get through this. Okay, cool. Level complete. Now, as you can see here, they do get really complicated and fun, and you have to bounce stuff off, you know, rubber um, bouncer walls. There's also these other ones, explosion balloons. There's this red one right here, if you can see it. Hold on. And again, it just exploded. There's also one right there. Right there. It's like a big explosion balloon. It just blows everything up. Like that. Whoops. And this blue, um, hold on, what's the next level? And there's also these jar balloons which float up when you break the jar they're in. As you can see, they float up. You just gotta pop them. And again, this blue arrow that's here at, even after you release your first arrow is the one, is your previous shot. And so that's really helpful so you can gauge your next shot correctly, you know? So it's really great. They also didn't incorporate that. They um, took that from the online version, which is awesome. So now I know I, if that's where I shot, that's where I'm going to shoot again, and it should go to the same exact place. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and here we go. We got this fun little level. These um these black little block boxes. I can't talk. These black little boxes are bouncy wall things where, when you shoot an arrow at them, they should bounce a lot, as you can see. <laughs> and they do the air um the um the darts do stop eventually. If they keep on bouncing, you'll see they'll stop right there. And again, this is just a really, really fun, fun game. You're a monkey shooting darts at some balloons. For some reason, you want to do that. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to remember, as I said in my update video, one of you is getting this. This is a really awesome color. Definitely an awesome case. 
please get in this giveaway. You still have time. I only have around 84 subscribers. So get in on that giveaway. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys around.